Thank you very much. You know, in order to be a success in television, you have to appeal to everyone. Um, <laughs> from the truck driver to school teacher to the businessman. And there's one group I haven't been appealing to. In fact, <laughs> not many performers that have even tried to appeal to them. Dogs. Now, a lot of dogs watch TV, and there's nothing really on that they can enjoy. Um, maybe a couple of commercials, and that's about it. So I've worked up a comedy act for dogs. Now, I know that sounds sort of ridiculous, but I tried the act on some neighborhood dogs, and they were on the floor. With the cute little doggy laughter. So if you have a dog, call him over, let him sit in front of the TV screen, because I think, I think you're gonna see him crack up for the first time. So I'll wait just for a second while you call your dog over. Okay, now, I've invited down to the studio some dogs that I can perform to, to sort of get the timing down. Add any canned barks. <laughs> so here we go, my comedy act for dogs. Well, good evening, poodles and collies. <laughs> Got kind of a funny story for you. You know, it was raining cats and dogs the other day. I know because I stepped in a poodle. <laughs> black and white and wet all over? A newspaper. <laughs> okay, uh, Bowser, and, Bowser and Fido, the show's not over yet. <laughs> Volunteer. How about you, sir? <laughs> well, where are you from? Oh, Canoga Park. <laughs> well, uh, do you have a family out there, or uh, mostly live alone? You have to, what time do you have to be home? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can't tell me because I have his watch. <laughs> Put this way now, and um, now I'd like to, uh, <laughs> to. I'd like to. Calm down now, boys. Good, good dog. That's it. Stay. Okay, now I'd like to play a little tune on the dog whistle. <laughs> Only the dogs can eat. 